Forget what you thought you knew about Germany. In the past, we used to admire how strong their economy was, how good they were at manufacturing high-quality products, and how solid their banks were. But now, something very bad is happening in Germany. We're going to talk about how Germany is facing a really big problem that we haven't seen in a long time. We'll look into what's causing this problem and what it might mean for not just Europe but the whole world. It's not just regular news, it's something that could change how the whole world's money works. So get ready for some big changes. But before we get into all of that, please click the like button and subscribe to Tech Revolution. And now let's start the video. Germany, which is like the head of Europe's money for some time, is having a really tricky problem with its money. Experts have looked all around trying to figure out how to fix it, but they can't seem to find the right way. In this situation, there are some important things. There are big companies, and the people who work there get along well, and they make really good stuff. They also have a government that shares money nicely. But there's something hidden that's important too, and that's the banks. These banks usually help the big companies by giving them money for a long time and not charging too much for it, like playing nice music together. But now, the music isn't sounding so good. A group called the International Monetary Fund says that this year, Germany's money will grow slower than other big countries. Also, the banks in Germany aren't making as much money as other banks in Europe. They used to be really good, but now their economic growth is among the weakest in its G7 counterparts. One reason things are not going well is because the cost of energy has gone up because of the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. This makes it hard for Germany to compete with other countries in the business. This idea comes from a smart person in China. So as we try to figure out what's going on with Germany's money, they are still trying to make everything work together. Before we get to see what happens next, let us check first the now. At the beginning of the year, the Germans all felt hopeful and positive. But as time passed, it's like they got a big wake-up call and things didn't seem so great anymore. Lately, People have been talking a lot about what's not going well in Germany. They even call it the sick man of Europe, which doesn't sound good. The reasons for this are the factories aren't producing enough products and keeping up with the demand. There are issues facing the industries that use a lot of energy, and there are other issues that are hard to fix and are challenging the industry. Germany appears to be experiencing the most difficulties out of all the European nations that use the same currency. Now let's take a closer look at these issues. On one hand, there are challenges caused by the way money is handled, like the European Central Bank making rules that make it harder for people to borrow money. Prices going up really fast and China's economy not doing so well. On the other hand, there are significant obstacles that have to do with how things work in Germany, like using cleaner energy, adapting to changes in how the world does business, and not spending enough money on important things like technology, roads, and schools. Even before the aftermath of the COVID virus and what's happening in Ukraine, Germany was already having some issues. But here's the important part. A lot of our consequences because of choices that people in Germany made. The disruptions in supply chains that became apparent during the pandemic, concerns related to the Ukraine conflict, and the ongoing energy crisis have highlighted these underlying structural issues. These weaknesses are the result of previous fiscal restraint and perhaps some unwise policy choices made over the past decade. While financial support measures introduced during the pandemic and last year's efforts to address the energy crisis have prevented a deeper economic downturn, our current projections paint a less optimistic picture. We anticipate a contraction of approximately 0.5% in the economy for the entire year, with another contraction expected in the following year. To put it simply, it is as if the economy has hit a few bumps in the road and we're on a path that resembles where we were in 2019. In essence, just as different health issues can arise from various lifestyle choices, the German economy seems to have encountered some challenges along its journey to the present. 
The way things are happening in Germany now looks a lot like how they were happening 20 years ago. Back then, Germany was going through different stages of dealing with its money problems, sort of like how people go through different feelings when something bad happens. At first, they didn't want to believe there was a crisis, and they got really mad about it. Then they tried to make deals and talk about it, but it made them feel really sad. Finally, they accepted that there was something wrong with their economy and started to find solutions. This happened in 2003 when the leader at the time, Gerard Schroeder, came up with a plan called the Agenda 2010. It took a few years, but by the 2010s, other countries were saying good things about how Germany was doing economically. In the early 2000s, the big issue was that a lot of people didn't have jobs, so they focused on fixing the job situation. Now it's not as easy to point to just one problem. In some ways, things are better now, but in other ways, they're not. One good thing is that Germany has a lot of money saved up, which is different from 20 years ago when they broke some money rules in Europe, so they can use this money to help. But the tricky part is that there is a list of ongoing issues they need to fix. It's kind of funny because now, not as many people are without jobs, which is good for the economy, but it also makes the leaders not feel as rushed to fix things. It's going to be harder for them to agree on what to do. Another thing that's different now is what's happening outside Germany. Before, they had some good things happening outside their country that helped them. For example, they could send some of their work to countries in Eastern Europe where labor was cheaper and China was buying a lot of things from Germany. But now, China is a competitor and they are suffering with inflation in Europe as well. Because they don't have these outside assistance anymore, it's even more important for Germany to make changes. Even though it's going to be tough without those extra external favors they had before. Now it looks like Germany might need a new plan called Agenda 2030 to help fix its problems. Even though they're giving some money to help for a little while, it won't be enough to make Germany strong and change everything. So what should they do to make things better in Germany? They have a long list of things they can do. Some things will make companies feel better and provide financial relief, and others will help make more things and services for the country. Think of a rule that says how much companies can pay for energy. This rule should stay in place for many years, so companies don't have to worry about it changing all the time. They should also have a clear plan for how to use clean energy and to help companies grow. The government can give them extra money for things like new technology, batteries, or making energy from water. Next is about making it easier for companies to do things and for the government to do it work online. This way, things can get done faster and better. It's a big list of things they can do and it can get even bigger. But one thing's for sure, it's going to be really hard to change the way things are if they keep being very careful with money. So what's going to happen to Germany's money in the future? Well, it looks like it might not grow very fast for a long time. To talk about Germany being the sick man of Europe might be the push that the leaders need to make changes faster. They don't want the money to stay the same for too long, that's for sure. That's it for this video. Today, we saw the revelations about Germany's economic struggles that are sure to have ripple effects around the world. Now we want to hear from you, our incredible viewers. What are your thoughts on Germany's current economic predicament? Do you see it as a potential turning point for the global economy or are there hidden factors at play? Let us know in the comments below. We're eager to hear your insights. But before you go, make sure to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and don't forget to subscribe to Tech Revolution.